Do you need to make some brass fittings black? So did I. Let me show you how I did it. How's it going everybody? My name is Ron and here on this channel I tackle projects of all sizes related to the bikes I ride and I give you information about those projects and the different products that I try. I recently tackled a couple of projects where I ended up needing brass fittings and I wanted to turn those fittings black because I really didn't want that raw brass color on the bike. The first of those projects, which I'll link to here, was adding an external breather modification to my Arlen Ness Monster Sucker intake. The second project that I needed to blacken the fittings for, which I'll link to here, was adding a crankcase venting solution on the Softail Street Bob. So this video is gonna be pretty short and to the point. I'm just gonna tell you the results of the three different techniques that I tried and tell you how they compared to one another and let you decide which one of these may be best for you. This video is not sponsored. I'm just telling you what product I used and what I learned along the way. And the product that I used for blackening these fittings is made by Birchwood Casey and it's called Brass Black. Now there are specific instructions on the bottle that tell you their recommended method for blackening these fittings. But of course, I wanted to try a few variations of that on my own just to see if I could get any different results than the ones that they described in their instructions. If you want to skip straight to the part of the video where I followed their instructions, there'll be time code links down in the video description. But if you want to hang around and see how the other two techniques worked out, I'm going to dive in right now. So I tried three different methods for blackening these fittings. The first two were sort of my variations on the, the theme of their instructions. And the third way was following their instructions as closely as I could. So the first of these techniques that I tried started with me scuffing up the surfaces with a Scotch-Brite pad, giving them a rinse in denatured alcohol to make sure that they were completely degreased, then rinsing them in water, and then dropping them into the brass black solution and actually just letting them soak for a little while. And I would check it about every minute or so just to see how it was looking. And I ended up leaving those fittings in the brass black solution for about three and a half or maybe four minutes. Drop them into water to rinse them, dab them dry with a towel, and then inspected them to see what I got. I was actually kind of surprised and impressed by just how well the fittings were blackened using that approach. The second method that I tried was again, scuffing the fittings up with a Scotch-Brite pad and then rinsing them in denatured alcohol. And then instead of soaking them in the solution, I dabbed the solution on with a cotton swab and let it sit for a minute and a half or two minutes, rinsed it in water, dry the fittings off, and then reapplied some more of the brass black and let that sit for a minute or two, and then again rinsed it in water and cleaned it off. And that process worked okay. The coating on the fittings was not nearly as thick and heavy as when I soaked the parts, but it seemed to work okay. The third method that I used was to follow the instructions on the bottle as closely as I could, and those instructions say to start by degreasing the part with either their degreaser or denatured alcohol, then to rinse the part with cold water, brighten it up with steel wool, clean it again with denatured alcohol, rinse it again, and then apply the brass black with a swab and let it sit for one minute, rinse it with cold water, and then to polish it with a cloth, and then repeat that process until you get the fitting as dark as you want it to be. I did that four times. You can kind of see on that fitting the progression, one coating, and then two coatings, and then three coatings, and then the fourth coating, and you can definitely see how that gets progressively darker with each one of those coatings that was applied. And the last step that they recommend is to seal that finish with their wax product. I didn't have their wax product, so I just used the spray wax that I had and then wiped it down just to seal that and give it a give it a bit of protection. Of the three methods that I tried, the first method where I clean the parts, scuff the parts, and then soak the parts seems to have given the darkest, thickest coating on the fittings. And the third method where I followed their instructions to a T seems to have worked really well. Also, the coating is not as thick, but I think if you repeated that process several more times, you definitely blacken that up and it should work just fine. Each one of these ways works. They just have slightly different results. And in the end, either way that you try, I'm sure is gonna work out fine. The two most critical parts to this are degreasing the parts and also scuffing the surfaces up so that it gives it a bit of a key so that that chemical can bond to it and give the desired results. All in all, I've been very pleased with how this turned out. I did have one fitting that I had to remove and reinstall several times. And as expected, there are some wear marks where that finish sort of wore off and the brass is showing through, but that's 
completely what I would expect in a case where there's metal to metal contact like that. But in general, this seems to work really well and it looks like it's gonna be a good durable coating on these brass fittings. The product costs like 12 bucks or something like that. I'll have a link for it in the description below if you wanna check that out. So I'd give it a thumbs up. I think it's worked well. Drop in a comment and let me know if you've tried this. Have you used brass black or some other chemical treatment process for blackening brass fittings? How did it go? What did you learn along the way? Or if you tried a different process, like maybe electroplating or something like that, I'd love to hear how that went and what you learned along the way. And I'm sure the rest of the community would appreciate that information as well. And if you found this video beneficial or useful, please do hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. That really helps the channel out a lot. I certainly do appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and enabling all notifications so you will be alerted whenever I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the ride. I'll see you next time.